Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius for the second half of your December from the 16th to the 31st. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and uh, the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So um, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Mind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box uh, below. Okay, so um, Sagittarius, tell me about Sagittarius in love. Tell me about Sagittarius in love and the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their December from the 16th to the 31st sun moon rising venus signs for sagittarius okay so we have the sun here leo energy and the devil all right leo energy capricorn energy with the devil card we have the two of cups we have the five of cups here i feel like you're dealing with a situation right now sagittarius where it's not very very happy I do feel like there's a lot of love here, okay? But there's a lot of toxicity, depression here, mind games. You know, I just feel like we have someone here that's ready to walk away, walk away towards a new beginning here. I just feel like there's a situation that you're dealing with here where you've had enough. Yeah, you've had enough of the mind games. You've had enough of the toxicity. You've had enough of, um, you know, someone here being emotionally unavailable for you, okay? Um, you know, I just feel like, you know, I just feel like there's a situation that you're dealing with that here that's really unhappy because, you know, uh, perhaps over time, you know, this person that you've been dealing with truly revealed themselves of who they really truly are. The sun here and the moon. Wow. Tell me about the devil. Capricorn, uh, Cancer, uh, Pisces energy here and the queen of wands. Whoever this is, this is an individual uh, where their mask just fell off. And I feel like as soon as that happened, as soon as this person revealed themselves for who they truly are, which is this really negative and controlling person, uh, and perhaps even abusive person, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, this mask that they ha had, you know, uh, where they were, you know, happy, optimistic, you know, kind of like happy-go-lucky, I feel like it was all for a show. Tell me about the two of swords here and the five of cups, five of swords here and the six of cups here. Seems like you might have been dealing with the situation for a while here. To, uh, two of cups and the six of cups there is definitely a past like soulmate connection here okay i just feel like with the five of cups here you know it could be a situation that you re re regret staying in the situation for too long but also disappointed that things never changed or things that did or things didn't work out here the eight of cups here and the four of swords tell me about the ace of wands here and the star, yeah. So what I'm getting here is that Sagittarius, you could be disconnecting, disengaging, walking away from this and focusing on your healing here, focusing on new beginnings for yourself. Because whatever is going on here, uh, you're not getting this, this 10 of pentacles energy, okay? Um, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with here. Um, so you could be dealing with another Sagittarius. Um, tell, me, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius for the um, second half of their December from the 16th to the 31st? We have the Queen of Cups here and the Seven of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, that's too many. Hold on one sec. Uh. I can't pick this up. Okay. All right. Let's see. 
Queen of Cups and the Seven of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Four of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. Whoever this is, I just feel like this person, I feel like this person's delusional and they live in like complete fantasy land, okay? Uh, I, you know, I feel like this, this, this person feels like they could do whatever they want. I do feel like there's love from this person, but it's kind of like demented love here. Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So this person tends to withhold communication here. Or that this could be an indication, you know, I just feel like this person has nothing to give. It's more so, I feel like this person more so is kind of like very grabby here, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Fool here, Aries Energy, also Aquarius, and Three of Pentacles here. Uh, you know, I just feel like when it comes to working things out, I just feel like this. It, it, it's really difficult for this person to sort of like bend and break and sort of like sacrifice, you know, make sacrifices here for you, okay? The full Aries energy here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? We have the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? And the Eight of Swords. I feel like this person gets in their head a lot and makes up these like really false, crazy scenarios here. I do feel like this person's really paranoid. I mean, I do feel like this person is in love with you, okay? The thing is, when it comes to love, I feel like this person's withholding it or not giving it. It's only conditional for this person. It's like what you could give to this person, then that's when they'll return that love to you, okay? Strong soul tie here. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Tell me about the Fool here. Tell me about the fool here. We have the hangman, Piscean energy. I feel like this person does not want to make any sort of sacrifices. You know, you don't have to make any sacrifices when you don't want to, but sometimes, you know, in relationships, you do have to do that. Not all the time, but sometimes. The hangman, Piscean energy. The three of pentacles here and the eight of pentacles. Seems like this person does not want to put any sort of effort to work things out here. I'm just getting a really selfish individual from this person. You know, I do feel like this person might have some sort of mental health issues where I'm getting like, you know, paranoia, you know, paranoia. Um, I wouldn't go as far as schizophrenia, but I just feel like this person's extremely paranoid. Um, outcome and advice for uh, Sagittarius regarding their love situation. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Look out for here for the second half of their December. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Wheel of Fortune here in the Six of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles here and the Chariot. You know, I just feel like, I feel like you're this masculine here. Sagittarius. I just feel like you're just you're just making a run for it. You're making a decision to make a run for it here. We have the strength card here and the five of wands. So I just feel like Sagittarius, I just feel like you're gaining the courage here. You're gaining the confidence to make changes here for yourself. Obviously the situation is not changing and I feel like you're taking control and making that decision for yourself to make that those changes here and to basically get away from the drama. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune here. We have the, ten, uh, the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Tower here. So what's happening is I feel like the universe is stepping in to sort of like to save you from this kind of like this wonky situation here. Tell me about the tell me about the King of Pentacles, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. We have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Chariot here, and the Seven of Wands. You know, so what's happening here is I feel like, you know, the, this person that you're dealing with here could be coming in with some sort of communication, but you're blocking communication from this individual. And whatever you've decided here, I just feel like you have a very strong stance on it. You're not changing your mind here. The Strength card and the Emperor, the Five of Wands here, and the King of Swords. So, you know, what's happening is I, I just feel like there's this energy of you leveling up here and basically cutting out the drama, releasing this, okay? So you no longer want to do this with this person anymore, all right? So it seems like you're trying to move on. So, um... 
Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.